There's so much to breathing than just simply taking a full big breath. We have to look at the depth of breathing in terms of the biochemistry, the biomechanics and the psychophysiological component. Through the biochemistry you can influence your blood circulation and oxygen delivery. You can also reduce your degree of breathlessness both during rest, sleep and physical exercise. Targeting the biomechanics you can help to improve functional movement and also the connection between the diaphragm and the upper airway dilator muscles during sleep to help reduce the risk of obstructive sleep apnea. The diaphragm also plays a role in the emotions. So by targeting breathing from a biomechanical point of view, with lateral expansion and contraction of the lower ribs, with optimal engagement of the diaphragm, we can help a number of systems in the human body. By slowing down breathing, we are looking at resonance frequency breathing, and by slowing down the breath to between 4.5 and 6.5 breaths per minute, we help to strengthen the bar reflex. We help to reduce the chemosensitivity of the body to carbon dioxide. We help to stimulate the vagus nerve, and we help to increase heart rate variability. Heart rate variability is an objective measure of vagal tone. And for resilience in the human body, it's very important to optimize HRV. So in terms of breathing, we need to target all three dimensions. It doesn't make sense to focus on one dimension of the breath and sacrifice the others. The pivotal point and the connecting factor of all three dimensions is breathing in and out through the nose. Nose breathing, biochemistry, biomechanics, and resonance frequency breathing. And then you are exploring the breath to the depth that you need.